down. Okay, so it's never moved. Got it done. This morning we video these bulls, uh, three bulls fighting, and uh, it's pretty sweet. Matt videoed me shoot. The bull jumped the string, so we had to put two more arrows in him, and he made it for a long day of tracking him. But uh, he's down, and he's a beautiful bull, six by five, and accompanying me is Matt Gustafson, who I'm very grateful for him. Just a great day. If I had to guess, we're eight miles from the truck in the bottom of. It's been a good season. We saw a lot of good elk, but this guy gave me the shot and I'm gonna pass it. It was a really good day. Well, it's 10 19, 10 20. Uh, we've been at this a while. I think we're. Into the hike? Yeah. Six. Six miles. And I'm tired. I think we got about three miles to go. What did you have to do about two and a half miles ago? Swim. Swim in the river. It wasn't a whole lot of fun. But our bridge caved in. <laughs> so I just walked across the river after swimming and got a pack for Nathan <laughs> and yeah we're debating whether we're gonna keep going the next six after we get to camp tonight or take a little break well this is the end of our trip in uh, 2012 September 4th today in the Eagle Cap Wilderness. Um, I got a 5x6 bowl and 140 pounds of weight on my back. And uh, accompanying me with, was Matt Guff, Guffson, which I could not have done it without him. Um, it's just a great trip. Uh, we killed the bull behind me, out in the background. We were looking up at that from the river, and we decided to hike. Um, this morning's been pretty good. 
saw um, a doe right at daylight and I just got done changing into my hunting clothes because I hiked up a mountain at daylight and it's pretty sweaty so get to the top of the ridge and spotted the doe. The doe had two bucks with it. They were two small three points and had them at 50 yards and I was like nah not worth it. So then I was working my way down a hillside just going real slow. It's really quiet this morning and um, I thought I heard something so I stood stood put for a little bit, a little while and um, <laughs> then a monster buck is just 20 yards from me and he's walking towards me and uh, it was pretty amazing. He stepped out, I drew back, it was textbooked, perfect shot, <clears throat> I watched him fall over so we're gonna uh, just walk, walk right down here and get him. Okay. He didn't go 50 yards. Oh, he looks like a good four point. Maybe a three by four. Yeah, he's a four. Good little four point heavy. High guards. By far my best buck. He's broken. Wow. What a what a day. <clears throat> well, here he is. Today is uh, November um, 25th, 2012, and I got this 4x4 with eye guards, and he's a pretty heavy buck. Um, yeah, he's real good. Uh, <clears throat> it's the third day I bow hunted this season. The first weekend was pretty slow. Um, this weekend is definitely hot. I've seen three bucks this morning within two hours. Uh, little shout out to Cameron Haynes for the bow that um, I uh, won from him. And this bow is taken uh, as five by six Rocky Mountain and now a, a nice four point uh, black tail buck. Um, it's been a really good season, uh, very grateful. Um, now I get to take some photos and get to work. But...